Media Light Commercial Inverter Air Conditioner's Maintenance Guidance. This video introduces the universal service procedure of Light Commercial Air Conditioner. There can be some differences between the units in this video with the ones of yours. During maintenance, you could possibly replace the components as below. Compressor, high pressure valve assembly, reactor, fan motor, main PCB and EEV, electronic expansion valve. Note, when you decide to change a PCB, make sure there is not any short circuit to the ground of any component which is connected to the PCB. When error occurs, the error code will be shown on both display board of indoor units and digital display of outdoor units. This table lists all the error codes of indoor units you may need. Note, for indoor units without digital display, you should pay attention to the status of running light and timer light. This table lists all the error codes of outdoor unit you may meet. If indoor units shows ED, the outdoor must be with old communication protocol. The error codes of old outdoor units show in this table. Measure the safety voltage. Caution, except for checking the voltage and error codes, all other operations must be carried out without the power connection. For safety reasons, the voltage should be checked before operating the unit. Measure the voltage between P and N by multimeter. If the result is less than 36 volts, it can be operated. EEPROM malfunction. Malfunction conditions. PCB main chip does not receive feedback from EEPROM chip. Okay. EEPROM, an electrically erasable programmable read-only memory whose contents can be erased and reprogrammed using a pulsed voltage. Troubleshooting is shown in the figure. Power off, then restart the unit two minutes later. If the error still exists, replace the main PCB directly. Communication malfunction between indoor and outdoor units. Malfunction conditions. Indoor unit does not receive the feedback from outdoor unit during 60 seconds or outdoor unit does not receive the feedback from indoor unit during 120 seconds. This failure could be caused by wiring mistake, faulty PCB or indoor or outdoor unit. Troubleshooting is as shown in the figure. Power off, then restart the unit two minutes later. If the error still exists, please check if there's any interference. Are there any electrical equipment above one kilowatt nearby? Such as fluorescence lights, hair dryer, microwave oven, refrigerator, wireless devices, etc. If yes, Remove the interference or add magnet ring on power wire. Check whether the signal wire is shield cable or whether the shield cable is grounded. If not, please use the shield cable and fix the shield cable to ground. If the indoor or outdoor communication terminal is still PQE but other the side is S1 and S2, Check whether the PQE wire is correctly connected. S1 to P, S2 to Q. If not, correct the connection. Check whether the signal wire is broken. If yes, replace the signal wire with a new one. Check whether the signal wires is inserted on PCB well. If not, pull it out and insert back. If error still exists, replace the indoor main PCB. If error still exists, replace the outdoor main PCB. Fan speed malfunction for DC motor only. Malfunction conditions. When the feedback signal of indoor or outdoor fan motor is abnormal, the unit will stop and show this failure. 
This failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty fan assembly, faulty fan motor, and faulty PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Power off, then restart the unit two minutes later. If the error still exists, shut off the power supply, check the fan assembly. Rotate the fan blower by hand, check whether the fan is blocked or rotating abnormally, and whether the screws which fix the fan have been tightened. If the fan works normally, check the wiring of fan motor according to the wiring diagram. After checking the wiring, check the main PCB. Before unplugging the wire to motor, ensure power off for two minutes to avoid the motor damage. If the DC motor has a five core pin connected to the main PCB, power on the unit and measure the voltage of pin one, pin three, pin four, pin three in fan motor connectors when the unit is in standby mode. If the value of the voltage is not in the range shown in table, replace the PCB. If the value is normal, replace the fan motor. If the error still exists, replace the main PCB. If the DC motor connector is UVW3 core, measure the resistance between U and V, V and W, U and W. The normal resistance value of each two terminal is equal. If the resistance is not equal, change the motor. Open or short circuits of the temperature sensor. Malfunction conditions. If the sampling voltage of temperature sensor is lower than 0.06 volts or higher than 4.94 volts, the LED will display the failure. The failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty sensor and faulty PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in the figure. This is T1, indoor room temperature sensor. This is T2, evaporator coil temperature sensor. This is T3, condenser temperature sensor. This is T4, outdoor ambient temperature sensor. This is T5, compressor discharge, temperature sensor. After checking the connection, measure the resistance value of the sensor. Checking the resistance value according to the characteristic table. If the value is abnormal, replace the sensor. If the value is normal, replace the main PCB. Refrigerant leakage detection diagnosis. Malfunction conditions. When the indoor unit displays EC, that indicates the refrigerant leakage protection. The failure could be caused by T2, indoor coil, temperature sensor error, indoor main PCB error, or refrigerant system error. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Shut the power off and turn it on two minutes later. If the error still exists, check if there is cool air blowing out from the indoor air outlet. Check whether T2 sensor is well fixed and measure the resistance value of T2 to ensure the sensor works well. If the error still exists, replace the indoor PCB. If there is refrigerant oil on the joint, apply soapy water or leakage detector to check if the system has any leakage. If there is any leakage in the system, let out the refrigerant and repair the leakage, then vacuum and recharge the refrigerant. Check the EEV electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, 
Replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. If the error still exists, there may be blockage inside the system, especially the capillary, so change the whole high-pressure valve assembly. Water level alarm malfunction. Malfunction conditions. If the sampling voltage of water level switch port is not 5 volts, the unit will show the failure. This failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty water level switch, faulty water pump and faulty indoor main PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Power off, then restart the unit two minutes later. If the error still exists, check the water level switch. Check if the water level switch is inserted well. If not, insert the water level switch well. If well, check if the water level switch is broken. Poke the float of water level switch and measure the resistance between two wires of the switch at the same time. Check whether the switch is normal, on, off. If the water level switch is normal, replace the water pump assembly. If the error still exists, replace the indoor main PCB. Regarding the duct unit and ceiling floor unit, which water pump is not standard, Check whether the jumper on the PCB is loose connection or missing if the error code shows. Outdoor unit malfunction. When indoor unit displays ED, it indicates outdoor unit malfunction. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Check whether the outdoor main PCB has error code displayed. If the outdoor main PCB has no error code displayed, power off, then restart the unit two minutes later. If the outdoor main PCB displays error code several minutes later, refer to the corresponding troubleshootings. Current protection of compressor. Malfunction conditions. If the outdoor current exceeds the current limit value, the LED will display the failure. The failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty bridge rectifier, system leakage, or blocking and faulty outdoor PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. If the protection occur in standby mode, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the protection does not occur in standby mode, check whether the power voltage is normal. Restart the unit when the power supply is normal. Measure whether outdoor terminal voltage is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of power wires is correct. Measure whether the voltage between L and N is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of L and M is normal. Measure whether the input voltage of bridge rectifier is normal. If the value is not equal to the power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of bridge rectifier is correct. If the wiring is correct, measure whether the current is normal. Use clamp meter to clamp live wire to detect whether the running current of air conditioner is close to rated current. If the current is normal, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the current is abnormal, measure whether the voltage between P and N is normal. For normal value, please refer to the table. If the value is abnormal, check whether bridge rectifier is normal. Measure 
where the positive and negative conductivity of the plus and minus pole between 2 or 3 AC are normally responding. The positive conductivity should be some value and the negative conductivity should be infinite. If positive and negative conductivity of one diode are both zero or infinite, bridge rectifier is abnormal. If bridge rectifier is abnormal, replace it or IPM board or main PCB. If the error still exists, check the wiring of reactor or inductance. If wiring is correct, measure the resistance of value of reactor or inductance. If the reactor or inductance is normal, the value is lower than 1 ohm. If the value is abnormal, replace reactor or inductance. If the value is normal, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the value is normal, check whether the outdoor ambient temperature is higher than 50 degrees Celsius. If yes, stop the unit. Check if the outdoor unit ventilation is good. And make sure the outdoor unit ventilates well. If ventilation is good, check whether the outdoor fan runs properly. AC fan only. Check the fan capacitor to verify the capacity value is same as the specification. If fan is normal, check whether the heat exchanger is dirty. If yes, clean the heat exchanger. If the error still exists, replace the outdoor main PCB. Check the EEV, electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. Please refer to the table to check whether the system pressure is too high. If yes, recycle the overcharged refrigerants. If the error still exists, Check whether the refrigerant system is OK. Find out the cause and solve troubles. Inverter module, IPM, protection. Compressor, rotor, position error. Malfunction conditions. When the voltage signal IPM sends to compressor drive chip is abnormal or the compressor feedback signal is abnormal, the display LED will show P0 or P4 and AC will turn off. The failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty IPM board, faulty outdoor fan assembly, AC motor only, compressor malfunction and faulty outdoor PCB. If P0 shows when the unit is just powered on or in standby mode, change the IPM board or outdoor PCB. If P0 or P4 shows while the unit is running, follow the procedure to check and find out the solution. IPM check. Measure the resistance between N and UVW and between P and UVW. The normal value should be several mega ohms. Should be infinite. And each two values are equal. or we can check the conductivity between P to UVW and N to UVW. The positive conductivity UVW to P, N to UVW should be some value and the negative conductivity P 
to UVW, UVW to N should be infinite. If the values are abnormal, replace the IPM board or main PCB. For other PCB board, please refer to the instructions for IPM check. Check whether the power voltage is normal. Restart the unit when the power supply gets normal. Measure whether outdoor terminal voltage is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of power wires is correct. Measure whether the voltage between L and N is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of L and N is correct. Measure whether input voltage of bridge rectifier is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of bridge rectifier is correct. Wiring is correct. Measure whether the voltage between P and N is normal. For normal value, please refer to the table. Measure whether positive and negative conductivity of the plus and minus pole between 2 or 3 AC are normally responding. The positive conductivity should be some value and the negative conductivity should be infinite. If positive and negative conductivity of one diode are both zero or infinite, bridge rectifier is abnormal. If bridge rectifier is abnormal, replace it or IPM board or main PCB. If the error still exists, check the wiring of the reactor or the inductance. If the wiring is correct, measure the resistance value of the reactor or the inductance. If the reactor or inductance is normal, the value is below 1 ohm. If the value is abnormal, replace reactor or inductance. If the value is normal, replace the IPM board. If the value is normal, check whether the connecting wire between main PCB and IPM board is connected correctly. Check whether the connecting wire of the compressor is connected correctly. Check the EEV, electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. Check if the outdoor unit ventilation is good and make sure the outdoor unit ventilates well. 
if ventilation is good. Check whether the outdoor fan runs properly. AC fan only. Check the fan capacitor to verify the capacity value is same as the specification. If fan is normal, replace the IPM board. If the error still exists, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the error still exists, check the compressor. Measure the resistance of compressor terminal. The normal resistance valve of each two terminal is equal. If the resistance is not equal, replace the compressor or the whole outdoor unit. If the error still exists, check whether the refrigerant system is okay. Find out the cause and solve troubles. DC voltage, over voltage or too low voltage, protection. Malfunction conditions, an abnormal voltage rise or drop is detected by checking the specified voltage detection circuits. The failure may be caused by abnormal power supply, wiring mistake, faulty bridge rectifier, and faulty IPM board. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Check whether the power voltage is normal. Restart the unit when the power supply is normal. Measure whether the outdoor terminal voltage is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of power wires is correct. Measure whether the voltage between L and N is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of L and N is correct. Measure whether the input voltage of bridge rectifier is normal. If the value is not equal to the power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of bridge rectifier is correct. If wiring is correct, measure whether the voltage between P and N is normal. For normal value, please refer to the table. If the value is normal, replace the IPM board. If the IPM board and main board are in the same board, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the value is abnormal, check whether the bridge rectifier is normal. Measure whether positive and negative conductivity of the plus and minus pole between 2 or 3 AC are normally responding. The positive conductivity should be some value and the negative conductivity should be infinite. If positive and negative conductivity of one diode are both zero or infinite, bridge rectifier is abnormal. If bridge rectifier is abnormal, replace it or IPM board or main PCB. If the error still exists, check the wiring of reactor or inductor. If the wiring is correct, measure the resistance value of reactor or inductance. If the reactor or inductance is normal, the value is lower than 1 ohm. If the value is abnormal, replace the reactor or inductance. If the value is normal, Replace the IPM board. If the IPM board and main PCB are in the same board, replace the outdoor main PCB. High temperature protection of evaporator. Malfunction conditions. 
When evaporator coil temperature is more than 60 degrees Celsius, the unit will stop and unit runs again when evaporator coil temperature is less than 54 degrees Celsius. The failure may be caused by evaporator coil temperature sensor faulty, heat exchanger being dirty, faulty fan and faulty PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Is the compressor running? If compressor does not operate, check whether the connection is correct between evaporator coil temperature sensor and PCB. Sorry, if the connection is good, measure the resistance value of the sensor. If the value is a fixed value and abnormal, replace the evaporator coil temperature sensor. If the value is a fixed value and normal, replace indoor main PCB. Check the EEV, electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. If the compressor operates normally, check whether the outdoor ambient temperature is higher than 30 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is higher than 30 degrees Celsius, stop the unit. If the temperature is lower than 30 degrees Celsius, check whether the indoor air outlet is blocked. If the air outlet is blocked, clean the air outlet. Then check if the indoor fan runs properly. Please refer to the solution of fan speed malfunction. Find out the causes and solve troubles. If the error still exists, check whether the heat exchangers and filters are dirty. If yes, clean the heat exchangers and filters. If the error still exists, replace the indoor main PCB. High temperature protection of condenser. Malfunction conditions. When outdoor pipe temperature is more than 65 degrees Celsius, the units will stop, and unit runs again when outdoor pipe temperature is less than 52 degrees Celsius. The failure may be caused by faulty condenser, temperature sensor, heat exchanger, dirty, and system leakage or blocking. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Check whether the condenser temperature is higher than 65 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is lower than 65 degrees Celsius, check the condenser temperature sensor. Check whether the connection is correct between the condenser temperature sensor and the PCB. Correct the wiring connection. Measure the resistance value of the sensor. If the value is abnormal, replace the condenser temperature sensor. If the value is normal, replace the outdoor main PCB. Check the EEV, electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. Check whether the outdoor ambient temperature is higher than 50 degrees Celsius. If yes, stop the unit. Check if the outdoor unit ventilation is good. And make sure the outdoor unit ventilates well. If ventilation is good, check whether the outdoor fan runs properly. AC fan only. Check the fan capacitor to verify the capacity value is same as the specification. If the error still exists, check whether the heat exchanger is dirty. If yes, clean the heat exchanger. If the error still exists, replace outdoor main PCB. Check whether the system pressure is normal. If the system pressure is abnormal, add the refrigerants.
If the error still exists, check whether the refrigerant system is okay. Find out the cause and solve troubles. Temperature protection of compressor discharge. Malfunction conditions. When the compressor discharge temperature, T5, is more than 115 degrees Celsius, 108 degrees Celsius for R32 units, for 10 seconds, the compressor will stop and restart till T5 is less than 90 degrees Celsius. The failure may be caused by refrigerant leakage, wiring mistake, faulty discharge temperature sensor and faulty outdoor PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Check whether the compressor discharge temperature is higher than 115 degrees Celsius, 108 degrees Celsius for R32 units. If the temperature is higher than 115 degrees Celsius, check whether the refrigerant is leaking. Stop leaking and add the refrigerant. If the temperature is lower than 115 degrees Celsius, check whether the connection is correct between compressor discharge temperature sensor and PCB according to the wiring diagrams. Correct the wiring connection. Measure the resistance value of compressor discharge temperature sensor. If the value is abnormal, replace the compressor discharge temperature sensor. If the value is normal, replace outdoor main PCB. If error still exists, replace high pressure valve assembly. Communication malfunction between IPM board and outdoor main board. Malfunction conditions. PCB main chip does not receive feedback from IPM module during 60 seconds. This failure may be caused by wiring mistake or faulty PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Check the signal wire between the IPM board and the main PCB. Is it connected well? If not, reconnect and retry. If the error still exists, replace the IPM board and then check whether the system can operate normally. If the error still exists, replace outdoor main PCB and then check whether the system can operate normally. If the error still exists, replace the electric control box. If the IPM board and main board are in the same board, replace the outdoor main PCB directly. High pressure protection. Malfunction conditions. If the port for high pressure switch is open circuit, the LED will display the failure the failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty high pressure switch, outdoor fan assembly, AC motor only, system leakage or blocking and faulty outdoor PCB. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Check whether the wiring between the high pressure switch and the main PCB is well connected. Check whether the high pressure switch is broken. Method. Disconnect the plug. Measure the resistance of the high pressure switch. If the switch is normal, the value is zero. If the switch is abnormal, replace it. If protector is normal, check whether the outdoor ambient temperature is higher than 50 degrees Celsius. If yes, stop the unit. Check the EEV electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. Check if the outdoor unit ventilation is good and make sure the outdoor unit ventilates well. If ventilation is good, check whether the outdoor fan runs properly. AC fan only. Check the fan capacitor, 
to verify the capacity value is the same as the specification. If the fan is normal, check whether the heat exchanger is dirty. If yes, clean the heat exchanger. If the error still exists, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the error still exists, check whether the refrigerant system is OK. Find out the cause and solve them. Low pressure protection. Malfunction conditions. If the port for low pressure switch is open circuit, the LED will display the failure. The failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty overload protector, system leakage, or blocking and faulty outdoor PCB. Troubleshooting is as shown in figure. Check whether the wiring between the lower pressure switch and the main PCB is connected correctly. Whether the low pressure switch is broken. Method. Disconnect the plug. Measure the resistance of the low pressure switch. If the switch is normal, the value is zero. If the protector is abnormal, replace it. Check whether the high pressure valve is open. If not, open the high pressure valve. Check whether the indoor fan runs properly in cooling mode. Please refer to the solution of fan speed malfunction. Find out the cause and solve troubles. If the error still exists, replace the outdoor main PCB. Please refer to the table to check whether the system pressure is normal. If the system pressure is abnormal, add the refrigerant. If the error still exists, check whether the refrigerant system is OK. Find out the cause and solve troubles.